problem that we are going to solve today is called group anagrams. The problem states, given an array of string STRs, we have to group the anagrams together. And the answer can be in any order. An anagram is the word or phrase found by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase. Okay, so basically, if there are two words, if both the words have same characters, they are anagrams. Okay, so now let's look at an example. So we have a string STRs that has a few words. Okay, and we have to group the words that have same characters in list. So for example, if we look at BAT bat, there are no other words in the string that has this three character. Okay. Similarly, if we look at NAT and TAN, they both have similar characters, so they are anagrams and grouped together. And ATE, EAT and TEA are all having same characters, so again they are grouped together and they are all anagrams. So these are the examples, let's look at one more example here. So there is an example where there is an empty string, only one single word is there and that is an empty word. So that will be grouped only once, so that is a single group, okay. And there is an example that has only A as a word and that is again a single group. Now what can be the solution for this? At this moment I would request you to pause the video and think of a very basic solution about this problem. Okay, let's move ahead. So we can see at this word EAT. Okay, so this has basically three characters E, A and T. And again TEA has three characters T, E and A. So we have to find the unique representation to give to both of these words. That could be the sorted characters of this words. Okay, so A, E and T is a sorted character of both of this word. And that will be the unique representation for this words. Similarly for A, T, E, this will be a unique representation because A, T, E also has A, E and T. Okay, so now this unique word can be a key for a dictionary. Okay, so A, E, T can be the key for a dictionary. And all the three words E, A, T, T, E, A and again A, T, E will be the values in a list for this particular unique key okay similarly tan will have a unique key of i think a n t in ascending order and a n t is also present in this so t a n and a n t will be a value in the dictionary and the last one is b a t which doesn't have any matching word so b a t will be sorted as a b and t and it will have only a single word B A T. Okay. So that is our dictionary and the result is basically the values. So this list, this list and this list, the values are the result that we want the desired result. So I have stated this in English words. Let's try to look at that. First thing is we have to define an empty dictionary, obviously. Okay. Next is iterate over each of the words. So the first words A E T or something. Okay. Next is sort the word to find the unique character. So when we sort the word A T E, we find the unique character as A E T. So this is the unique character and we have found our unique character set and each unique set of characters form a key of the dictionary. So we can consider this as a key of the dictionary. So A E and T and append the word in the list that matches this unique key value. So all the words that matches the unique characters of this key can be appended into this keys value so basically a t e e a t can all be in this list and finally return the values of the dictionary so that is the stepwise solution of this problem now let's try to solve this in lead code okay so the first thing is you have to define an empty dictionary so di equals to this now for word in strs we have to do a sorted word find a sorted word or a unique key okay and that will be sorted of this word so when we sort a string suppose you sort this string a t e okay it becomes a list that will have a and then e and then t and we have to make this a e t a key of the dictionary list cannot be a key of a dictionary because it is mutable okay a key of dictionary should be immutable so instead of list we will make this a tuple so this will be a tuple okay and let's remove the comment for now next thing is searching for the sorted word so if the sorted word is there okay we will add the current word okay in the list of the sorted word and a better way to do this is basically using the get method of dictionary okay 
and we will also give a empty list here so what this will do is we will search for the sorted word key in this dictionary di if it is found great we will append the current word to this sorted word list if it is not found we will basically create an empty list add the word into the list and assign it to this sorted words in the dictionary okay so the last step we will do is we'll return the values of the dictionary and we'll convert it into a list and what this will return is it will return a list like this that has the grouped words grouped anagrams in them okay so let's try to run this and yep it runs correctly and we will submit it great we have passed all the test cases now let's try to find the time complexity for this solution so let's consider the maximum length of all the words in the list strs is k okay and sorting a word takes n log n time so sorting a word that has a maximum of k length will take k log k time okay and we are also iterating over all the words in the list strs which has the length let's say n so the time complexity will be big o of n that is the length of all the words in the list multiplied by k log k where k is the maximum length of one word in the list of words similarly the space complexity will be big o of n into k as we have defined a dictionary with n keys and values and the maximum length of the keys and values could be k so that's the time and space complexity but can we improve this solution yes we can I think we don't need to use the sorting operation okay because that is taking a lot of time that is k log k okay let's go to the whiteboard and see so we can define a list define an empty list that has all zeros okay and there will be 26 zeros here so when we come across a character let's say a we will increase this zero to one okay and next we come across e so a b c d e okay so 26 zeros represent 26 character of english alphabet so we will now increase the e to one okay from zero we'll increase it to one okay and similarly suppose this is here is t okay we and we are increasing this t to one okay a e t becomes this okay similarly if this is b a t then the ones will be different okay a and something else okay and if it was a a a double a e t then the a would be two and e would be one and so on okay so this could be our unique key now instead of sorting the characters this could be our unique key and we can convert it into a tuple because again list cannot be a key of the dictionary so we'll convert it into a tuple and this will be the key of the dictionary now again everything else will be same okay i have also written this in english words and let's see the solution okay Yep. so first thing is defining an empty dictionary again okay we'll define an empty dictionary we'll iterate over each words in the list strs list okay next we will define a list of integers of length 26 having only zeros and each integers refers to a character in english alphabets great iterate over each one word in the list of strings okay and add one to the corresponding character in the list okay so if suppose a is the first character of a word then we'll add one to the first value in the list okay and rest everything will be zero Similarly, if B is the next character, then we'll add one to the next character in the list. Okay. And everything else will be zero. So this new list is unique for a unique set of characters. Thus, we have our key. Okay. We have our key for the dictionary. Okay. And we can now convert this into a tuple and consider it as unique key. And then we can append the respective word into their unique keys and return the values of the dictionary. So that's the method that we can do. And let's now try to solve this. I'll go to description. I will remove this solution. Okay. So first is defining an empty dictionary, then looping or iterating over the strs string. Next, you have to define a let's say counter. Okay. Unique set which have zeros, 26 zeros. And this 26 represents the 26 unique characters in unique alphabets. Okay. Now we will loop over each character. Let's call it character in word and what we will do is we will basically so let me just type this out so 
cool so basically what this does is this ord function finds the ascii value of the particular character so if it's a okay we'll find the ascii value of a which is i think 65 small a ascii value is 65 okay so we'll find the ascii value of a and then we will subtract it with the ascii value of small a okay so 65 minus 65 will be 0 and at the index 0 of counter array okay we will add 1 so similarly if the character was b okay suppose the character was b so the ascii value would be 66 and the ascii value of small a would be 65 again okay and then we can add one to that index one of this counter array okay so that's the second step now we have created this unique list now we can convert this into a tuple so let's call this counter tuple counter yeah we've just made this counter a list to a tuple okay and finally we can do the same thing as the previous step okay so di counter equals to di dot get counter comma empty list plus word okay so basically if the unique counter array is present in this dictionary okay we will add word to whatever was present in this otherwise we will define a new array add the word in this array and assign it to counter key okay so then we can just return di dot values cool and again we will convert into a list i hope that is all about the solution and let's try to run this and yeah it's accepted let's submit it cool it also passes all the test cases now let's try to understand the time complexity of the solution time complexity will be n that is basically the number of times we are iterating over each word okay so n is the length of the list of strings okay and let's consider the maximum number of characters in all the word is k okay so the worst case time complexity will be big o of n into k for this solution so let's write it big o of n into k and i hope you know what n and k is and again space complexity is same n into k because we are defining a dictionary that has n keys and the maximum length of each key values can go to k characters that is our solution of this problem and we have solved this in two methods and if there are any questions please post the question in the comments we'll meet in a different video until then take care